I'm even upset for not even being able to save the dogs. Emotionally, that's keeps us not sleeping very well. A devastating house fire has claimed the lives of 10 dogs in Ottertail County, all of which had destiny to serve others. Now an area family is picking up the pieces with a community looking out for them. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall has this family's emotional story and how you can help. Teresa McCuller knows service dogs can save lives. My boy saved me from heart failure. He kept waking me up anytime I, my oxygen was getting low or anytime my heart wasn't working right. And then we found out that I was in severe mitral failure. For years, it has been her mission to help others by raising service dogs who can respond to medical events or act as a brace for people with mobility issues. There just was a, a need for it. A lot of organizations charge horrible amounts. And that means other people that really need it don't get access. We had people waiting well over two years for this. But now those dreams are gone. McCuller says about 30 minutes after she left the house nearly two weeks ago, it went up in flames with her dogs inside. The whole south end of the house was involved in fire. They made the initial attack and tried to gain entry to the home, but it was too involved to get in there. So it was basically stand back and do a outside firefight. The fire chief says it took hours to knock down the flames, even with help from other fire districts. By then, the house was a complete loss. And McCullough's service dogs, Zool, Midge, and their puppies didn't survive. So many people waited for this litter. And the mother was, she was a phenomenal mommy. <laughs> McCuller says since then, the community has rallied around her, digging through the ashes, dropping off supplies, and helping her plant a memory garden for her dogs. There's even an effort underway to help her get her service dog business running again. But McCuller says that's a wound that still needs time to heal. One gal that's got a Phoenix fund to help try to reestablish at least what we do with dogs. I have a lot of healing physically and emotionally before I can do that again. In Dalton, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. McCuller says the families who had deposits down on the puppies have been refunded their money. The cause of the fire is believed to be an electrical malfunction. For more on this story, including how you can help the family, visit our website, valleynewslive.com.